NHL action. I'm talking once again with Dana Lane. And Dana, we got a very interesting game. Buffalo Sabres taking on the Montreal Canadiens. Now, Buffalo is definitely out of the playoff race. And the Canadiens, they need a miracle to get into the playoffs. And both of these teams, as of late, have been on a downward spiral. Uh, where do you see the value in this game? And which team might be able to cash that ticket tonight? Well, I don't know how much value we're getting in this, but I certainly don't want anything to do with the Buffalo Sabres. And, <laughs> you know, as bad as the Montreal Canadiens have been all season when Carey Price went out, they certainly have not been very, uh, too bad at the Bell Center. In fact, in their last seven games, they're 6 one They got a real nice streak going at home. And you know what? I, I don't mind the goaltending situation as much as I did uh, when it first happened. I thought both of the goaltenders should have been American Hockey League goaltenders. But look, look Mike, in the last two years, if you were just to bet the Buffalo Sabres, I mean, you would be down a boatload of money where they have only won 30, 31% of their games over the last 170 games. So I don't want to bet on the Sabres and cross my fingers that they're going to come up with a good effort on the road. I got you on that one. You know, the Canadians just, it's a team I really can't figure out. Defensively, they lock down from time to time, and then they'll go on spurts where their power play just does not produce anything. Uh, do you have any injury updates in this game that might, you know, kind of help the decision here? Well, the, the major injury update is still Ryan O'Reilly for, for the Buffalo Sabres. He's still out. Uh, with a lower body injury, so he won't play, and that that hurts them obviously. Uh, not not a lot of other huge injuries for the Sabers, but uh, you know Robin Leonard's going to start in goal tonight. I'm not a huge Leonard fan. Uh, he's five eight and four on the season. His goals against average is a little high, and the one thing we don't like about him is he gives up way too many rebounds, and I don't think. Uh, I don't think he has a lot of composure when he gets behind. So I can't imagine him uh, on the big stage in Montreal uh, as, far as, as far as composure is concerned if they get behind. And as you stated, 6-0-1 their last seven home games. So that's, you know, that's very positive right there. That's a stat and numbers don't lie. Uh, what's the best shop line for the Canadians tonight that you found? Uh, go out and get this right now. we got Montreal minus $1.50, which is right at our threshold. Again, we don't want anything to do with the Sabres, but go get Montreal minus $1.50 because I can't imagine much Saber money is going to be coming in. Well, that sounds good, my friend. There's not a whole lot I could refute there. Okay, viewers, you heard it. Jump on the Montreal Canadiens. Right now, you can catch it minus $1.50 on the money line, and uh, that's going to be a ticket casher tonight. Okay, Dana, thanks so much for your input and your breakdown. Good luck tonight. Beat the book, my friend, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Well, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it.